the whole world needs essential oil of lime and that is very important for the restaurant and the cola industry perfume industry What we have established at US Citrus is the largest lime operation in the country. I am a citrus scientist and an entrepreneur. My wife Annie and I live in McAllen, Texas. We have a son and a daughter and both are physicians. I was born in a small village in Kerala in southwestern India. After obtaining a master's degree in botany from the University College in Trivandrum, I worked as a lecturer in Jordan for 2 years. Then in 1979, I came to the United States to do a PhD in plant pathology at the Purdue University in Indiana. Right after that, I got a very interesting job to go back to Jordan. I was appointed by the U.S. Agency for International Development on a project to help the government of Jordan. It was to help improve the citrus industry. It was through Washington State University. So that gave me an opportunity to be in the trenches of citrus in a faraway place. with the limited opportunities to understand and gain knowledge in the Middle East After a second assignment in Jordan with the USAID I came back to the United States in 1987 to work with the apple industry at Washington State University In 1988 I moved to the South Texas to work as a citrus pathologist at the Texas A&M University Kingsville Citrus Center. One of the first things I found out after coming to Texas was that almost all nurseries in the state were distributing citrus plants that were not clean. I introduced a clean citrus program in Texas and with the help of the citrus industry it became a great success. In 1997, uh, Governor George Bush signed that into a law. So we have a program that the Texas A&M Citrus Center um, that has distributed already over about four million uh, buds. I had an idea to modernize the citrus industry here in Texas, and uh, it was a kind of a disruptive technology. and uh, it was um when everything is going good people don't want to change it so it took some time to for me to demonstrate it and uh, people to see the innovations in the field over a period of time um different varieties the once i achieved that one i decided to go on a commercial basis I started US Citrus Company in 2012. Purchased the land about 550 acres uh, land uh, purchased in uh, 2012 and then build an infrastructure. It took about you know several years to build that in uh, you know, a process. A lot of R&D went into that one. We we put about for uh, about more than 15 million dollars into it. and today uh, we have a system built a very good foundation to grow any kind of citrus variety within a short period of time and get the fruit production in a much quicker way compared to anyone in the world the nursery that uh, we have at the US Citrus is um, right now it is a 100000 square feet you know uh, covered area certified uh, free from insects and diseases we maintain over 100 and about 172 varieties now and we will be increasing more this plant is 
kumquat. This is one of the most cold hardy citrus fruit. You can even grow this one in Canada. And this will have fruit year round. You eat the whole fruit. This is one of the forefathers of all citrus. You know, citrus originated in India, China area. In the United States or in Israel or in Spain, a good grower makes about 25 tons of fruit. I can effectively double it. Doubling from 25 to 50 in my operations at the U.S. Citrus. And that is a combination of planting more trees and getting to production sooner. In a normal nursery, it will take at least one square foot per plant to take that and give it to the homeowner or to the orchard. And in our operation, it can be 49. So one is to 49. Normally, for the normal nurseries, it takes two years, almost two years. And in our program, we can have a, about four turnover, four times we can make that. From this small plant, micro budded, to this fruit is less than two years. And this happens only at the U.S. Citrus, because this is a new technology, new innovation. So micro budding is a, is a process where I do the grafting at a very early stage. Very early means usually it takes about nine months for an average grower or average nurseryman to graft a citrus tree. So in my case, I can reduce that to even three months. This is a rootstock plant for citrus grafting. You see the seed here. These are the rootstock seed. Seed is growing from from the from the from the seed. And then the in the traditional nurseries they grow that plant into a bigger size. Um, that size can be from uh, the total number of months would be about 18 to 24 months whereas in my case it would be three months and so we it's a substantial uh, difference in the time required time means money we are we are pioneers in 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 the way we are doing the operation so we are growing varieties that are not exist in uh, in texas today for example our flagship product is called persian lime it is a green lime that is um, used in, um, in, in food industry and in uh, cocktails. A uh, lot of chefs and uh, mixologists use you know, very flavorful Persian lime. Um, today, the United States imports 1.2 billion pounds of uh, limes into the country, mostly from Mexico. And there is no production. What we have established at U.S. Citrus is the largest lime operation in the country. It takes about 10 normal limes from the market to make the ju juice content of one of our limes. So that's a huge difference. The aroma is absolutely amazing. This one is Ponderosa lemon. It is the largest lemon, it's one of the largest lemon in the citrus family. In India, we use this for pickling, especially in Kerala and in the southern part of India. It produces a lot of fruit. It's the largest size fruit, Ponderosa lemon. So it is not as you know bitter, as uh, strong as the, lab, the regular lemon. This plant is called Australian finger lime. Here is a example. So if you cut this open, you get a lot of vesicles inside. See, all of this. This is called the citrus caviar. This is used in specialty cooking. 
and with the uh, with the uh, with the drinks you know a lot of mixologists use this one we we sell this fruit at a uh, higher price on the internet i think we are selling it 10 10 dollar i mean uh, five five pieces for 10 dollars and that includes shipping the most important thing in uh, in fruit business is you establish the market before you even plant the tree uh, we are preparing a name brand for our own products and um, people are getting to know about us so they make orders so we make more plants and we are expanding our acreage we have established a name recognition we have established the market we have established a very strong client base you know people are coming to us and looking for our product so now we are, have reached a stage that we do not have enough products to meet uh, the, the, the customers that are already coming to us. It will take us, uh, even if we plant five times more acres, we won't be fulfilling about 20% of the national need. Your citrus is a specialty citrus producer. Specialty citrus producer means that in uh, average, for example, in Texas, Texas is grown, known for the grapefruit that we produce and also for the oranges. But that's not, uh, the children doesn't like the grapefruit because of the bitterness. Children doesn't like the oranges because it is not easy to peel. So what we are doing is we are growing plants that are needed for the, the, uh, the children, Texas children, Texas population and even elsewhere. So we are producing these uh, plants that are very rare in the market and uh, it is a, uh, it's a very tasty one and it is a very well sought after. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the easy to peel mandarins. So this is a Kishu mandarin. Kishu mandarin is uh, very tasty, very flavorful and it is easy to peel. So uh, kids and Everybody, kids and the busy people, they like to eat that one. They don't like to spend time opening up the, the hard to open fruit. It's a very tasty one.